UFOs on Mars, okay? Now today, I'm going to be going through a bunch of folders I've got up here of some of the UFOs I've found recently. Now, what I've been doing, I've been going through all the NavCam right images, this camera here, right navigation camera, on the Curiosity Rover, starting from the most recent, going back, I've done a hundred, almost 150 pages of these, right? And we're only going to look at these types of images here, where you have the horizon, okay? Now, there are thousands and thousands of images of the horizon in Gale Crater, okay? It's one of the most photographed places ever, if not the most photographed place. Basically, the rover's been there for over 10 years and takes hundreds and hundreds of pictures every day with different cameras, as many of you already know. And the NavCam right ones particularly are good. They're not very big, a lot of these images, but they're not compressed as far as I can tell. They're not downgraded much. They're not very big to start with, so they haven't messed with them much, okay? There are loads of these things near the rover. And when I say loads, I would say 10, 20. I mean, what we may be seeing are the same 10 or 20 objects or things, I would say, over and over again. Some of them, I think, are birds, maybe, or at least bird-shaped objects, which may be drones. Some of them are probably drones. A lot. Some of them are geolites, which is what you get next to a mountain like we are now. This rover is right by a mountain, and this particular mountain is very large and is about four and a half, five kilometres high. It's very large indeed. It's about 50 miles across Aeolus Mons, and it was at one time a volcano, and uh, it's very large indeed, and it, there is still electrical activity going on. So some of the bright objects we see may be geolites caused by the piezo discharges from the mountain. This is common with large mountains and volcanoes, okay? Now, the most interesting ones to me are the black objects which are near the rover. Now, these are not glitches in the camera, right? We already know where the glitches are in the camera, and this isn't them. I've already ironed those out. These are flying objects. Here's one here, right? Just here. In the negative, you can see that there is part sticking out. Just here. Here and here. All right? This is negative. Negative again. Color filter. Closer. So this is rectangular with two little kind of arms sticking out. All right? This is weird. Like some kind of weird drone. All right? There it is in context. So we're at the, near the base of Mount Sharp here, and we've got these buttes here, some of which are actually ruined structures, right? And this is nice because we've got foreground, middle ground, background, and a UFO hovering right above, near the rover. Now when I say near, this is probably less than 100 feet away, probably something around 50 or 60 feet away. That's why it's large. Most of the time we see little tiny specks in the distance up here, right? And you cannot determine what they are. I suspect some of them are UFOs, but a lot of the black objects we see are, I think, birds. Because there's way too many of them flying around to be little drones. If, if you were a Martian and you had a drone or a bunch of drones, you wouldn't be flying them every day to track the rover, you would send one maybe every few days just to keep an eye on it, right? Which may be happening, I don't know. But the frequency of these objects is just insane. I'll demonstrate that to you now. Because in this one, now that, that object I just showed you is from Sol 3820, okay? That to me is possibly some kind of drone or something. Very strange indeed, right? Now we're going to go to 3835. Now this is a, a more what I would call a rod or shooting star shaped kind of UFO, this one. But they're black. They're like black rods. Sometimes they're white 
and sometimes they're black. And these can be seen quite close to the ground as well as up in the sky. They're rods, okay? And when they're coming towards you, one end will be thicker than the other, right? And they're moving because you've got motion blur just behind it, just here. You can see blur. So these are moving objects. And in this set, there's two. We have a bright UFO like this here. It's kind of a cross shape. It's got a little cross to it there. And then we have a dark rod UFO here. This one's been brightened up. Okay. There it is above the ground. Now, I'm, I don't think these are very large. I think these are between two feet and about 10 feet in size. There are different types. Some are larger, some are smaller, right? And I did a bunch of videos on, on these before. The rod UFOs on Mars, or Mars rod UFO. And some of these have shown up right near the rover. And they're like a baseball bat shape. They're sort of, they're not completely straight cylindrical. They're sort of um, thicker at one end. Or at least that's the way they seem. That's probably because of perspective. Okay. Now that was uh, Sol 3835. Now this is Sol 3811. Now this is a nice one. Because we have multiple ones in this one here. Right. Here we have two. Now they're a bit further, the two or three, they're a bit further away. You can see one here, one here, one actually has another one there. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now these little white specks here are stars. That's a star there. Another one there. Ignore those, the little specks. We're looking at black objects mainly or, or larger bright objects. But this one you can see one, two, three, and four. Now, this is a rod, another rod, and so is this. Maybe. There's a kind of squiggly one. And these are too faint to work out what they are. But that's an example of, of what you see often. You'll see one or two closer and one or two further away. Now, are some of these birds here? Or are we seeing insects? nearer to the rover is that possible i think it is i think it is it may be the case that there are still creatures on mars i've shown them before i've shown birds what look like birds anyway now we do on earth we do have bird drones bird shaped drones and insect shaped drones and ufo kind of saucer shaped drones and all all kinds of different types okay and uh, I would expect the, the Martians probably did as well. I don't know. Now this one is a bright one. Large bright one. These are fairly rare. Okay, The, the rods are, are more common. And the, blo the black dots or black objects are more common. They're easier to spot. Uh, now if this was in the sky up here, we probably wouldn't see that very well because it's quite bright against the bright background, but because it's below the horizon, we can see it, right? Just there. So that's a classic example of, of um, something that, that NASA would probably say is a shooting star or something like that, but it's below the horizon, right? So it can be, <laughs> right? And I've done some color filters on this as well. There it is in this, up here, closer. Closer again, brown filter, negative. Now this is shaped more like um, a bowling pin or something, or, or a sort of, uh, it's kind of a rod shape, but it's more, it's more ovoid. There it is again, there it is again. Different filters. There it is in context. Now a lot of them show in these images, the, these sort of letterbox shape pictures, right? From the nav cam right. These are the best ones because you get quite a lot of skyline and uh, they're in quite high contrast so things show up quite well, i.e. UFOs, right? 
because we've got plenty of contrast in the image. They're not too bleached out and they're not too dark. Some of them are quite dark, but this is all the same set. And we got that we got that one there with the multiple ones here. This is a cut of that. One, two, three, four. Actually, there's one, two, three here. Another rod. And a faint one there and a faint one there. Okay? So in some of these sets of images, you might have to go through 50 or 100. You'll find, you'll often find, when you find one, you'll often find another one shortly after it, right? Now, is it possible that these things change colour and go from black to white and back again? Is that possible? Because what I'm getting here is that they, there's a lot of these things flying around. And when I say a lot, I mean like every couple of days, right? Every two or three days, you will see some. So you'll go through one set of images and you won't find anything. The next one, you'll find one or two in the same set. Then the next set, you may find one. Next set, you may find none and so on, right? Now, I'm not saying you're going to find these in every, on every page, right? What I'm saying is you need to flip through about five pages before you find one, maybe four, okay? That's how many there are. But most of these images of these UFOs on Mars are too small to show in any detail. That's the problem. And occasionally we get one where you get quite a large object like this one or a closer object. Now this is Sol 3835 and you can clearly see it there. And it's kind of hovering or moving above this object on the ground, which isn't that far away. I would say less than 100 feet away, this thing. It could be as close as 50 or 60. Okay. Now this is Sol 3835. And when you flick through that set, you've only got to flick a few between each. And there's another one, right? So we've got a black rod there, right? And then flick left in the set, and we've got a white one here, okay? It's not very big. That seems to be much further away. But could that be the same object? Because it's taken on the same day, and these images were only taken probably a less than a minute apart. One, two, three, four. So, I mean, th these were literally taken in the same minute. Because when the rover takes these, it would take a sequence. Sometimes 10, sometimes 50, sometimes just a few of the same horizon. And it would take the, the shots at intervals, right? few seconds apart or even less than a second apart sometimes depending on the camera right is it possible that that black object is the same object as that even though it's a different color or different brightness this is a light object is it possible that that thing moved from here and shot up here and in the process has changed from black to white or dark to light is that possible I don't know but I did show this with the rod UFOs before now in this video here the rod UFO appears in one image and then a couple of images later is another one but it's gone from white to black and it's like a baseball bat. Okay? That's what they appear like. I don't think it's actually shaped like a baseball bat. It's just perspective. It's like a rod. But it's not a completely symmetrical rod. It's got like a thing at one end. Right? Like a thicker bit at one end. It's weird. And in this, in this video, which I did a, a, a few years back now, four years ago, you can actually see that these are probably the same object and then in one image it's white and then in a couple of images later it's moved and changed so it's flipped from one to the other right 
and you can see a bunch of these in this in this video but in other images it, they show as little shorter rods they because they're uh, going away or coming towards you they so they don't always show up as this rod shape depending on which direction they're moving in relation to you so if they're coming at you they appear short shorter and fatter they're going away they're shorter and smaller thinner and obviously they can be angled this way or that way so there's some weird stuff going on here and a lot of these I think are rods okay then we have weird ones like this streak UFOs right now this is a weird one the streaks appear much more rarely than the others the bright ones and the rod ones appear the most common okay and every so I would say about every hundred image every hundred sets of images you may find a streak right now I've been finding these since the rover landed on Mars different times the streaks the rods the bright UFOs and the sort of bird shaped ones okay now the bird shaped ones may actually be birds people will say oh they can't be birds on Mars the atmosphere yes yeah, so what you don't know what the atmosphere is there and we don't know what they breathe okay we cannot rule that out because I have shown ones that look like insects right like this one I mean this may not be an insect but it's got three parts to it abdomen head and thorax abdomen thorax and head perhaps I don't know which way round but this may actually be a bird who knows okay but this was really close to the rover and it's really small so it's more like to be an insect or a very small insect sized drone okay that is really small you know I worked it all out and it says in the video how big it is some look like insects some look like birds some are streaks some are actually just shooting stars the bright sometimes you get a bright streak in the sky in some of these images some of these are quite dark right I mean there isn't one in this image but sometimes you'll see a, a little white streak up here somewhere they're just shooting stars but you only see them in the darker images because these are taken at dusk as the Sun is just going down okay just going down here and you will see shooting stars and lots of stars and things and you'll often see Phobos or Deimos as well in the sky that's how we know this is Mars and not freaking Iceland like some people think it is right okay because the moon's different completely right that really does annoy me when people say oh it's the, the rovers aren't even on Mars they're, they're in Canada or something you know, or I even had someone say Ireland <laughs> I thought yeah are there deserts in Ireland are there deserts in Canada no this is a desert right in a lot of these darker ones you'll see loads of these specks and a lot of these are stars but a lot of them are interference but you'll often see these little black specks like this one I'm just about to make one out there these may be birds because often you'll see four or five of them above this area right as if they're circling round and occasionally you do see them much closer up if you if you go on my website here artalian.tv go to the menu you got UFOs the UFOs page but also Martians you go to Mars birds right and there's examples of what look like bird shaped things in the sky there's one here this is the famous one and uh, a lot of these were spotted by um, a great researcher called uh, Terry Burnett who died unfortunately last year and he was a great researcher and he was the real kind of navcam UFO kind of guy and he would flick through all the navcam images and all the images that no one else could be bothered to look at right he was the guy that found a lot of these initially early on as well as I did and we often swapped stuff and he, I would often show his stuff and credit I'd always, always credit him because uh, he would worked tirelessly going through all these images for many years and unfortunately died last year so God rest his soul and uh, this I think was one of his finds 
But there, there are examples of birds on the ground, which are mummified and preserved, like this one. Mineralised, okay? In the Salt Lake bed here. So we've got bird-shaped objects in the sky, like this one, and we have bird-like things on the ground. All right? We have bird remains. There's a bird skull there. This is a hawk, right? This is a painting I did of a bald eagle many years ago, just for comparison. Now look at this wing configuration here. Look at these large wings, right? Some other birds here. Some are very weird, but are a bit like ours. Some of these birds are a bit like ours, right? And I think this is a hawk because when you see hawks in flight, and I have studied them, right? That's what they look like sometimes when the, when the wings are up, just kind of hovering, and the beak would be at this end, and that's the tail, right? And you can even see a reflection off the top here where the light's hitting the top. So this isn't a glitch. This isn't just a shooting star, right? So some of these, I think, are possibly birds. People will argue till they're blue in the face that there couldn't possibly be birds on Mars. Yeah, whatever. These are the same people that told us a lot of the crap over the last few years and have been lying to us probably since the 60s about UFOs and aliens and that kind of thing and almost everything else, right? Since JFK was shot, there was a takeover in the US and uh, it's been in a kind of semi-state of um, internal conflict ever since. And, uh, of course, NASA are subject to the, the people that run all that crap as well. So they don't come out and, and say this stuff. And there's another bird. Possibly. I mean, it may not be, but it looks like a pigeon or a dove. Just there. Just sat on top of a rock. So some of these may be birds. Here we are, look. There's the beak. There's the wings. It's, re it's really blurry because it's, this was like 80 feet away. 60 to 80 feet away from the rover. Okay? And uh, it's near this thing, this alien, or whatever that is, peering from behind a rock. And just over to the right of it is this thing on top of a rock. As if this thing was hunting that thing. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Okay, so we have examples. So we've got the ones I'm going to show you. I'll, I'll put clips of these all in at the end of the video as well, right? We've got Sol 3483, 38, 35, 3820, 3811. That's the bright one. The streak is 3713. And we've got another bright one here, 3710, which is pretty cool, which I just found. Is it a rod? It looks kind of weird. It's got, it's got a zigzag pattern to it. Now, some of that is pixelation, of course, but uh, it's weird. Sometimes they show like a kind of zigzag shape, as if they're moving like in a sort of weird pattern, like a snake almost, like wriggling. I'd say what? It's so weird. Now, some of these may be insects. Now, of course, if there was an insect flying near the camera, like that one I showed you before, and what tends to happen is, if you try and photograph insects in flight, you won't see the wings in the, in the photograph. You'll only see the body, because the wings are usually translucent, and they're moving so quick, they don't show up. They just show as a bit of a blur, right? And... Um, Often, that will happen with birds as well. If they're flapping their wings quickly, the wings will appear blurred. But if they're just kind of hovering like this one, maybe, they're not quite as blurred because the wings are kind of more stationary, right? Like that. There is blur there, but not much, right? But if with insects, you get the body and you won't see any wings. So this one may actually be a, a, an insect and the wings there is a blurred part here may be coming off the top here this may be the body with three sections who knows there's no way of knowing for sure but you can see distortion right around it here as if there's wings flapping about 
perhaps. Okay? Like objects, bright objects, streaks, possible insects, possible birds, possible drones, okay? All sorts. Loads to see here. Clips coming up in a second. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.